Hello there once again and welcome back to our Chem 151 video series. In this video, we'll be doing a problem related to heat transfer and calorimetry. This time we have a 200 gram block of copper which we've heated to 100 degrees Celsius. That's symbolized by my drawing of this red square. We'll be placing that hot piece of copper into this beaker filled with water at room temperature 25 degrees. When we put the copper inside the water, the temperature of the copper will go down and the temperature of the water will go up. However, we don't know where the temperature is going to end, and the question here is to find the final temperature of the combined copper and water. In order to do this problem, we'll have to start from the heating equation, which tells us Q is equal to M times C times T final minus T initial. Once again, the M stands for mass, this will be in grams. C stands for specific heat, the units for that are in joules per gram Kelvin. And then the temperatures are T final and T initial. You can write these as degrees Celsius or Kelvin. However, there are two materials here and one of them is gaining heat and one of them is losing heat. The copper will be losing heat because right now it is the highest temperature Therefore, when you do this combination of copper with water, the temperature will go down. The water will heat up at the same time. To show that the copper is cooling off, we'll begin writing the heat equation with a negative symbol to show that the copper's temperature will be going down. And we'll write mass specific heat T final minus T initial. We're also going to specify this will be the mass of copper, specific heat of copper, T final minus T initial of copper. Notice we have not written that the T final will be just for copper because the T final will be the same for both. Therefore, it's okay to write T final without any specifier next to it. We'll say this will equal the heat for the water. So we'll write mass of water specific heat of water, and T final minus T initial for water. With this in mind, you can see that we have seven different letters to manage. So let's write down all seven of our letters and see which of them we know. In line one, we are told that we have 200 grams of copper. This will be our mass, and we'll place that in the MC position. We are also given the specific heat is 0.385 joules per gram Kelvin. And the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. This will be our T initial. We'll check those letters off in the equation. Now we'll look at the water. The information for the water is in the second line of this problem. We are given a mass of water, that's 100 grams. Specific heat of water, 4.18 joules per gram Kelvin, and an initial temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. We'll check those off in the equation as well. You can see that the only letter we are missing is T final. Therefore, we'll have to do algebra to solve for this unknown. Let's place what we know into this equation. The mass of copper is 200 grams. Specific heat is 0.385 joules per gram Kelvin. We'll multiply this times T final, which we don't know, minus the initial temperature, which is 100 degrees Celsius. We'll set this equal to the mass of the water, which is 100 grams times 4.18 joules per gram Kelvin times T final minus 25 degrees Celsius. We'll begin by multiplying the negative 200 times the 0.385. If we do this, we'll get negative 77, still times TF minus 100. On the right, we'll take 100 times 4.18 and get 418 times TF minus 25. Now we'll take the negative 77 in the front and multiply it by both terms inside the parentheses. If we do this, we'll get negative 77 TF plus 
7,700. If we do the same with the 418 times both terms in this parentheses on the right, we will get 418 TF minus 10,450. Now, we'll take the negative 77 TF that's on the left and move it to the right. When we move it, it becomes positive 77 T final. If we add these together, we'll get 495 TF. We will still have minus 10,450 also on the right and 7,700 on the left. Now we take the negative 10,450 off the right and move it to the left. When we move it, it will change to addition rather than subtraction. If we add these numbers together, we will get 18,150 equals 495 TF. Now we divide both sides by 495. This will cancel the number in front of TF. When we do the division, we'll get that T final is 36. 0.67 degrees Celsius. Rounded to the proper number of significant figures, we can say this is 36.7 degrees Celsius. So when that copper block, heated up to 100 degrees, was added to water at 25 degrees, eventually the temperature will come down to 36.7 degrees. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.